frankly, Black History Month, at its best, it should only be a garnish because this should be something that you live 24-7, 365, no days off, no union breaks, no bathroom stops, no rest stops. Um, you eat this, talk this, eat this, sleep this, drink this, breathe this, be this. You know, so for us, those of us who have been on that wave, all this is is just a highlight reel. This is, you know, we, we've been putting in the work. We've been playing the games the rest of the year, all the other days of the year, all the other months of the year. This is just simply ESPN Sports Center highlights. That's all. So you have some people who, unfortunately, just merely dusting off their bona fides and trying to go ahead and showcase how down they are now. They're doing some extra things. And I'll give it the most minimal of credit. It's better than nothing whatsoever. But the problem is, if you're taking your marching orders from others, if you need other people to establish your holidays, your celebrations, your occasions, your moments, then really you're not actually celebrating or honoring whatever it is you're coming forward to. You're just being obedient. Mm -hmm. People told you this is your space, this is your lane, and you followed suit and you got where they told you to. They asked you to jump three inches. You made sure you jumped three inches and not a centimeter more. You're simply obedient. Whether there was or wasn't a Black History Month, we should have been celebrating and revering our elders, our ancestors, our heroes, those from the past and present who were making a difference and moving the needle for us and being optimistic regarding the future to come. And that's why those of us, even though it's not necessarily formally recognized, you don't see any uh, specials on Hallmark Channel, you don't have any long parades out there in any major cities or whatever, but that's why many of us quietly celebrate Kwanzaa. Mm. And we do so when we honor and we respect what it stands for, what it symbolizes, not because people told us to do it or because uh, there was an official celebration given to us, but because we recognize it's important for us to honor and to celebrate ourselves and what it all means. So again, much love to all the family throughout the world for this Black History Month. But I want to reinforce that this should be a nonstop affair. And if that has not been true for you up to this point, I highly admonish you to go ahead and to course correct now. So as soon as February comes to an end and March touches upon us, don't let, let the momentum die out. Don't let that flame go out. Don't let that uh, wind die down. If anything, turn it up a notch. Take it to the next level. Make March Black History Month. Make April Black History Month. Yes. Make every month of the year Black History Month. And even more important than Black History Month, make sure you're committing yourself to making sure there's a rich Black history future. Because it's not enough for us to just celebrate what happened in the past. We need to make sure that we're creating a better past for those of us to come forward. All the future is, is a result of what was done today in this moment. So today, commit to making yourself some Black history so that our descendants can look back and celebrate and re re revere us the way that we look back and celebrate and revere our ancestors. That's my well, 2.5. Well said.